Larnell, uh, how surprised were you that Miami selected you? Had they been showing interest in this process uh, the whole time? Uh, what, and what's this experience like for you? This experience is, I, I ain't going to lie, it's really just magical. You know, it was real, it was real stressful going through it, going up throughout the day. And then, you know, just hearing my name called by this team, it, it meant so much to me. You know, I just can't wait to work, you know, once I get down there and whatnot. So it, it's just really a blessing. You know, I'm really happy that, you know, this team selected me. Omar, you're still live. Oh, uh, uh, how do I? Un uh, you're good. I'll go to David. All right. Hey, Lornell, uh Curious, did you have like conversations with the Dolphins throughout the process? And you know, I, you're a UMass guy. Uh, I think a lot of people probably don't know a ton about you. Could you just tell us a little bit about what you uh, are going to bring to Miami? Yeah, for sure. You know, like, you know, being a UMass guy, you know, real underrated guy. But, you know, I'm definitely going to come and give my all to this team. Got to make sure, you know, I get to know my teammates as best I possibly can. And, you know, really try to, you know, get this season going on the, you know, uh, best foot possible. So, you know, I'm really trying to go in there and do what I do, whatever it is the team needs me to do. You know, I'm really trying to make a difference here. Josh. Hey, Larnell, it's nice to, to meet you, man. Josh Tolentino from The Athletic. I got to ask you first, man. Were you wearing that Air Jordan uh, teal Miami like, shirt already? Or did you just throw that on right now? I ain't going to lie. I threw this on, like, but uh, before, I uh, after I took a shower and, you know, I was just cooling with it the entire day. And then, you know, you know, it was just this happens to be a real good, cool, cool coincidence. I ain't going to lie to you. So it's, de it's definitely cool. Okay, for sure. Congrats, man. Um, we looked up to your bio. We saw that, you know, you played some some basketball, some uh, different positions across uh, the board. How do you think, you know, that versatility and I guess um, more so athleticism benefits, uh, you know, being able to protect uh, on the line, both on, in the rush and the pass, pass game? I think all my athleticism, you know, from prior sports and everything is going to really, you know, help me shine and whatnot and help the team as, as much as possible. And I feel like, you know, I got a lot to bring to this team, and you know, I just can't wait to get on the field and you know, prove it. Joe, hey, Larnell, congratulations, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in South Florida soon. Um, how would you describe the approach that you plan to take to your first pro training camp? Um, my approach is, you know, just make sure I'm on top of everything. You know, everything that you know, you know the. Coaches have asked me, you know, I'm gonna do a times ten, you know, because, you know, I gotta, I gotta one, I gotta prove myself just like anybody else, and then two, you know, I'm trying to help this team like I said before, so you know, I'm gonna do everything times ten, do whatever it takes. Cam, hey Lonell, what's up, man? Welcome to Miami. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know you played a lot of left, left and right tackle. Where you think you fit best? You know, uh, going to the league. You know, I'm real versatile. So, you know, whatever it is the team needs me to play, you know, I can play it. You know, like I'm real athletic, so I can do I can do just about everything. So whatever the team needs me to do, I'm willing to do it. Omar? What do you think is the strength of your game? What is the calling card? What does Larnell – how do I say your name? Larnell? Larnell. Larnell. What does Larnell bring to the table as an offensive lineman? As an offensive lineman – for one, as I tell everybody, straight positive energy. You're never going to see me have a bad day, for one. And two, just aggressiveness. You know, I'm on the field. I'm a dog. So, you know, I'm, you're going to see it every, every play. So, I say I bring that as an offensive lineman. Josh? Yeah, Larnell, is, I guess, is, you know, you, you played some tight ends, uh, some uh, defensive uh, line, according to your bio. Um, but when you really – you know, came into the offensive line role, who were some guys that I guess you studied or, or look up to, um, you know, modeled your game after on, in regards to offensive line? You know, I study a lot of people, um, a lot of, you know, prior teammates. And then also, you know, I like, you know, a lot of uh, offensive linemen, like say even like David Bocciari, but, you know, I model my game after myself, you know, you know, I may pick up a couple of things, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm trying to make sure I'm the best version of myself at all times. Joe? Larnell, uh, my guy Travis from the Dolphins, he just tweeted that you have uh, an almost 85-inch wingspan. Uh, yes, sir. That's, that's like Kyle Pitts-like now. 
how can you use that to your advantage? I definitely use it. You know, you definitely see it in my pass blocking game. Like, you know, I got to use them long arms to keep defenders off my quarterback. So you definitely going to see me use it in those situations. Thank you. Anybody else have any questions? Omar? Are you familiar with South Florida? Have you been here or what's what's the I've only been to Florida one time and I was a, I was when I was a kid and it was going to Disney World. So but no, I'm definitely looking forward to getting down there, you know, start working. And do you have experience snapping or you, or that's not something that you've ever done? I actually I've been I started practicing snapping actually. So as some, you know, I'm getting, you know, more and more comfortable with it, uh each and every day. Travis? Hey, Larnell. Larnell, congratulations. Welcome to Miami. Uh, I'm reading about your your love of basketball, and I'm curious, uh, when did that kind of go by the boards, and how do you think that helps you on the football field? Uh, you know, I love basketball since I was a kid. You know, you know, my father had us, and me and my brother in camp since we were uh, real young. And I think, for me, basketball is literally this, uh, at least playing defensive basketball is the same thing as playing, playing offensive line, or at least playing tackle, I'll say. And I feel like a lot of that athleticism is definitely going to transfer over onto the field and has been, I think, as you can see on my phone. 